Let me say this, Monte. I mean, you know, politicians, of course, try to obfuscate the differences to get an agreement. Academics do exactly the opposite. They sharpen the differences to, 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 to improve the understanding. Um, to me, it seems you have obfuscated, actually, the differences precisely in the way that Amartya Sen does, uh, which is, well, you also believe in growth, and towards the end, as you got in, you said, Arvind will also agree with this, presuming that I agreed with everything else that you had said before. <laughs> but, but look, you know, uh, the big difference here is that saying that you're, you believe in growth is not enough. You, what have you done? What have we done in the last 10 years to do the growth? I mean, we just haven't done it. It is, it is, let me, let me it, ask it you. Is, it is in the same spirit. Let me just complete just two more things. You said also about, you know, as if on education and health also we agreed. But, you know, just allowing private sector, sector to operate, giving them the rights to operate, is not equivalent to actually facilitating being an enabler for the private sector to operate successfully. I mean, you've got, okay. to, you've got to give the power to the people. Why, why is it that there has been no effort to, to give vouchers to, to the students? Let, let the poor, I mean, even the teachers of the government schools, because they are paid well enough, send their own children to the private schools. Why not Can I answer that? the bottom third? Just let me just last thing I'll oh. say, because I'm just trying to, to, to put in two or three of the things that, that you said. I want to do, do, do want to bring out my differences with you. And the third, of course, is that, you know, on petrol subsidy, you say that, oh, this is derailed. But NDA had actually done that deregulation when the NDA went out in 2004. It was reversed at that time. Ten years later, we are now trying to struggle back with the petrol subsidy and then going on to diesel. I think there's a lot this government has to account for. Let's go a little bit uh, in the reverse order. It's true that the NDA government had announced the deregulation, and that was when crude oil prices were $20 to the barrel. As they started to rise, they failed to actually implement When the UBA government came in, with implementing it was that people said, look, the previous government didn't implement it, so why do you want to push this now? Of course, nobody knew that oil prices are going to keep on rising. So that's, I am not, I'm, even today, across political parties, this would be a great contribution you can make, by the way, if you can get whichever political party either you're talking to or is listening to, and I would say all of them, get them to make a commitment that, yes, energy prices should be aligned with world prices. It would be a terrific idea. Now, coming back, you got a lot of applause for saying, what have we done in the last 10 years to get growth? You know, but you're the one who said in the last 10 years we've had the highest growth ever. Now, are you going to say this is nothing I didn't say that thanks to you. Ah, so what you're saying... No, no, but look, this is the very... And that I have written in number of places. This is... I know, but... you tell me five positive measures that you took to make this happen? In my view, you should not be allowed to get away with the, with the proposition that says that the entire performance of 10 years... 10 years, I'm not talking one year. The entire performance of 10 years is due to the previous 20.